Now we got to start looking at what types of black men are these. Because to be honest with you guys, all of y'all don't need to travel. You know, some of y'all do need to stay in the United States. As someone who has Austin Holloman by about two decades, it's a pleasure watching him grow into a young man who's knowledgeable about the ups and downs of living abroad. And even though he has a sharp way of saying things, I think it's just part of his personality. And he makes several good points in this video, which I wish would go viral because it's extremely valuable and dense. One of the most known ways that black men create a bad rep for themselves abroad is taking the ninja behavior abroad with them. What do I mean by that? <laughs> Here, Alton's going to talk about a touchy subject, but it's one that needs to be confronted. There are a lot of people that go overseas and they want to recreate cultures or they want to carry a certain culture with them. And in our case, it's a certain culture that fits in with what we see on television. And it's not the best policy, as he states. What is that behavior like? You know, being disrespectful to women, you know, cursing loud, you know, acting like you just don't have any home trainer. You know, there's some places I've been to in the world where, where it's not black people. So I'm not talking about Africa, but whenever we are encountered and they have been exposed to us already, at times it can almost be a disadvantage being a black American man because of what the previous black American man did before I showed up. Take me to jail. Take, Take me, me to jail. jail. Lock me up. Of course, it's not fair for us to hold Austin Holloman as a 24, 25 year old to a standard of behavior that we couldn't maintain at 24, 25. He made mistakes. He admits he made mistakes in this video, but the knowledge that he gained from his experiences is priceless. And if you won't believe the words out of my mouth, maybe you'll believe the words out of his. Ninja behavior like throwing money in the club, cussing loud, disrespect to women. You know, try to talk to every single woman that you see. Oh my God, that makes us look so weak and thirsty, desperate, whatever the f you want to call it. Stop talking to every woman that you see. Oh my girl, hello? Yeah, my American friend. This perhaps is the most important and poignant point that Austin makes in this video. You simply cannot ask out every young lady that you think is good looking or that you want to go out with. There are things like reading the room. She might be shopping while her boyfriend is in the car. She could be with a group of friends from college and she doesn't want to be embarrassed. You have to understand the situation. She could be a young kid who is a high school or junior high school kid wearing regular clothes and you can't tell the difference between a 16 year old and a 22 year old in their dress. You have to have some tact in who you're asking out and when and where you're asking them out and just seeing someone that looks good and asking them out is one of the cardinal sins that guys make overseas there's no way in hell you find every woman attractive but if you do other cultures see that other cultures of people societies whatever you would call it they see that and then you set a reputation because they only have the reputation of what they've been exposed to and they see that and they're like oh like these black men are known for being thirsty. They're known for being thirsty. This, this guy has to talk to every single woman that he sees. Not every single woman that he might find attractive, but every single woman that he sees, because I've seen it happen too many times. You know what I want? <laughs> it's here in the video where Austin gives a nod to the kind of guys he thinks will make the transition living overseas the best. A nod to guys that we're all too familiar with. If mass numbers of dudes with the mentality like the tech guy, uh, the nerdy guy, Cause it's hard being black and gifted. somebody who has basic respect for people around them, it's no problem. Here, Austin is going to make a point that I speak of in my videos often. And instead of you hearing it in my words, listen to the young 24, 25, learned, traveled young man say it himself. Another thing that we don't do, and I've made this mistake myself which is not learning the culture in other places. Learn For example, culture. let me go ahead and throw a slug at Brazil. Apparently there's certain way in their culture, there's a certain way that Brazilian women don't like to be depicted on the internet to expose horrorism that's going on in Brazil. They don't want you to make them, they don't want you to point out the fact that their culture, which is just fine with me, I loved it, but to the rest of the world, they may be perceived as whores. 
I didn't know that. Made the mistake. I made my own mistakes abroad. I won't make them look like whores or anybody else look like whores anymore. He had sex with my mama. If I were ranking the points that Austin made, this might be the number one on the list. And it is the cardinal sin that many passport bros make when they go overseas. And it's simple because you think the thing should be one way, but they're the other way. Some of you guys try to go to these other places and you try to change the culture to what you want it to be. Right. I don't do that. That's why I jump from country to country. Like, hey, if the chicks in Zambia weren't on my time 10 days i'm out you ain't got no better food like some chicken wings some baby back ribs some fries or something chinese food no soul food here and eventually i'm gonna tell you what's, what's gonna happen to you guys eventually the foreigners are gonna start getting tired of seeing us they're very well aware that dudes are traveling to meet women you know that there's a lot of you guys that travel just to meet women not even to live there you guys will eventually find yourself in probably some dangerous trouble. The last of the Passport Bro sins is one that's near and dear to my heart and it brings great pleasure to me that Austin Holloman is mentioning this. It actually harkens back to one of my favorite clips that's really motivating me right now. Another issue that you guys have is you guys do not learn the languages of these places when you go there. What do I mean by that? I mean exactly what the hell I just said. You don't learn the languages of these places when you go there. 7-Eleven? For example, I speak Portuguese and I know enough Spanish to order my food, to tell the taxi driver which way to go, to talk to pretty much anybody. I probably don't know every word, but I know a, a lot more than you motherfuckers do. And I know that for a fact. Okay, let's see. When your partner becomes your bestie. <laughs> this couple's TikTok is one of my favorites to follow on TikTok because they just have a good old fashioned love story. And as cynical as we have become about love and dating and finding a life partner, every so often when you find an international love story like this one, it's heartwarming. And you can almost guarantee when he went to Korea, he was not hitting on every single Korean woman that he saw. And if she had seen that, she might not have approached him or made signs for him to approach her. And so it goes right back to what Austin Holloman was saying and points that are echoed by not just myself, but many guys who have been abroad for quite some time. Learn the language, learn the culture. Don't try to change the culture where you are don't be a bull in a china shop do things that just show that you have an appreciation for who you are and you're not there just to chase girls chasing girls is not a bad thing but if you're trying to chase every girl in the country and everyone in the country knows you're trying to chase every girl in the country that's not going to end in a good place and austin holloman mirrors that if you're interested in traveling, travel and see the beautiful country, learn the language, experience the food, listen to the music. There are dozens of reasons to travel that don't necessarily involve women. And if you show a genuine interest, there's a good chance that some young lady is going to show interest in you. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. I'll catch you next video. Take care, guys.